Hey, what's up? Um, just wanted to make another one because I thought the one in Bolton went really well, so you know, I thought I might as well make a new one. Got a few things to talk about though. As you can probably see, I'm absolutely knackered. It's about quarter past five in the morning, <laughs> and I've been playing Battlefield 3 since about 10 yesterday. Uh, I've really gotten back into it. It's over there. Um, yeah, like they brought out a while back uh, the server update thing where you can rent your own server and I thought that it was a great like well I hated it at first because you can never get into a decent server like an official server as they like made all the rules like if you can buy your own server you can change everything so you couldn't find uh, an official EA or DICE server like usual like you used to play on but uh, you can get into a fair few. It's usually like shotguns are disabled and stuff because they're like overpowered and they can't be bothered nerfing them. So um, yeah, and then then they brought out after uh, E3 they announced a few days before E3 they announced the Battlefield 3 Premium, which is kind of like Call of Duty Elite but without the stats and rubbish that they send with it. You get videos and tips. You get all the content. You get the content two weeks in advance, which is pretty good because. If you're a PS3 user, you'll get them, like, if, say, you're going to buy them uh, normally, you get them a week before the Xbox. So, you getting them a week in advance before anyone else on PS3. But if you get if you get Battlefield Premium, you get them two weeks. So, you're technically getting them two weeks before anyone else. Like, the Xbox, you're getting them, like, PS3, you've got them a week early than Xbox. So, technically... If you're a premium member on the Xbox, you get Battlefield pre. You get the the maps like uh, I'd say a week before normal PS3 users, users. If that makes any sense. And I've been playing the hell out of it. You get you get a, a golden knife, which kind of looks like a potato peeler. So it's like the golden potato peeler. I call it the golden potato peeler of awesome ninjiness because I was just like free running with it and ninjaing. Oh, I saw a guy today. Uh, I was playing playing against him. Uh, he was using a knife only. He had 26 stars on a knife, and each star is 100 kills. He had 260 plus kills with the knife, and he was a standard user, not a premium. That's insane. He used to like zigzag in like towards you, and it was like ah, that's, and his name was Ghost or something zero something Ghost. So it was like. He's a ninja trying to attack you, and it was really good. He used to be able to like stab you from up front instead of behind, as well as behind. Uh, so yeah, the new maps will be out for PS3 already, last week I guess. And the maps for premium users will be out to Tuesday. This is a Sunday, Monday, early Monday vlog, so I guess. It's pretty good. Um, yeah, I could probably start doing these again. It's quite interesting. And uh, yeah, so I'd suggest getting premium if you've not got if you're planning on getting the content, and it's a great way to get back into Battlefield if you've kind of like gone Call of Duty or Halo or like gone off it a bit. Uh, like I get I, I get camos, weapon camos. I get the knife, and I get the content in advance, and I get tips and soldier updates for more camos for weapons and stuff whereas standard users don't even get camos or a cool potato peeler so yeah it's pretty cool and you get like dog tags and stuff and extra assignments so it's all pretty worth it 4000 microsoft points that seems quite a lot i know i know it seems quite a lot but i thought that but if you think about it if you're going to get the content in a, if you're going to get the content when it comes out anyway then you pretty much might as well cuz you get extra stuff with it and each Map pack's going to be like 1,600. Oh no, 1,200 Microsoft points. I don't know how it works on PSN. It's all money based or cash based. Sorry, America. Uh, so yeah. Um, what else? Probably going to be playing some more Minecraft. I'm going to start doing videos with some friends and that because we made uh, a clan house for Brace Jump Pain Kill, the clan that I'm in. So that that'll be pretty interesting and. Uh, yeah, you should look out for my videos a bit more. Maybe I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of doing a new Star Wars one as well, like I tested with the beta. 
so I might do a Star Wars playthrough. I'm going to start doing more videos. The only problem is on my Xbox it's going to be in standard definition. And uh, where's that screen going? And the screen comes back on. It turns itself off. It doesn't. It doesn't like me. And uh, there's my Xbox there. This is my room. I'm going to start doing my videos like this when I'm at home. Because I've got my chair, so it's quite smooth. And you can see some cool posters and stuff in the background. So there's a to Tobuscus poster in reverse. <laughs> and uh, Assassin's Creed and Battlefield. I have other stuff as well, like Skyrim house and. Avengers and Call of Duty and stuff like that. So yeah, I'll probably start doing these. Plus I can rest my arm on my knee, so it's all good. So yeah, look out for my new videos and um, I'll speak to you soon. I'm going to try and find a way to end these videos cooler. I mean, the last one I went, bye! It was a bit gay, so... I don't know, maybe I'll just say like, case out or something. Ew, I don't like that either. I'll think of something. So, uh, yeah, I'll uh, speak to you tomorrow. I'll try and do one tomorrow. So, yeah. Bye. Oh, I did it again.